I just got back from a trip up to Kenai and uh, we had a shipment come in. So let's, uh, let's open this up, let's see what we got. All right, so what we have are things that are upside down. <laughs> yep. These are black on the bottom. Oh, other ones were silver. So we've got more solar panels from Sun Gold Power. We have uh, four of these. So that'll give us six of these total. Triples what we currently have. Yep, so, so, this is yep. be so triples our power that we've got currently. Uh, once we get one more battery, uh, we'll be pretty good. Right now, uh, yeah. we only have so much storage for our power, so that's a little bit of an issue for us. So, But this here is going to allow us to use the... Um, inverter uh, charger to charge the battery. Now, we didn't yep. have enough volts with the two that we had, so they sent us four more, so this would be plenty of volts in order to charge our battery. So we ended up getting these things, uh, kind of a last minute thing. We didn't know he was getting these until just a little bit ago. Uh, we got a million other projects we gotta get done before snow flies. So we're gonna build a temporary uh, stand to house these things on. Uh, in the spring, we'll do something more permanent, but for now, we just gotta get this, get the power coming in. Yeah. You know, so these panels are, 415 watts. So we got, we'll have six of these total. Uh, we already had two. Sun Gold was nice enough to send us four more of these. And we're gonna, like I said, build this uh, temporary stand to get these things up. This will allow us to charge off of our inverter because if you've watched our last episodes, uh, some of the issues we had was... We didn't have enough voltage off of the two panels that we had. So that's why Sun Gold sent these ones here for us. Uh, that way we'll have enough voltage and we'll be able to try out that inverter charger to the best of its abilities yeah exactly so we currently we have one battery uh it's a, it's a good sized battery but it doesn't store quite enough so with having this to offset so we can charge off the solar uh well we should be able to keep it charged yeah it should, it should be able to top off on the days we yeah. get sun so in the meantime until we get another battery this is going to help us out immensely so a huge shout out to sun gold power uh there'll be a link in the description to these also we'll be going over more specs but for now, we gotta get these things unloaded and we've gotta build us a little stand and get these things set up. All right, so we pulled a couple of them out and we got them hooked up to these two. We're gonna grab the other two and just lean them against the house for right now. So we got them off the trailer. I uh, got them all unpacked and we decided just to lean them against the house since the sun's out and just hook them up and see if we'd actually start charging. Uh, if you watched our last video we did, the uh, two panels we was only getting what? Just, just over 70 volts. So it wasn't enough to kick the charger on. So that we found out that was the issue. So Sun Gold was nice enough to send us four more panels. So now we're bringing it up to 190 right now. It's kind of fluctuating as sun's not completely out and some of these are in the shade. Yeah. It is charging. The battery is charging, so that's good. So that took care of our problem. So we can charge now off of a generator and we can charge off the of solar panels. The task we have to do now is we really have room to have these on the side of the house. So, I mean, we could we could put them on here probably. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> we would have to stagger move them. them or something. Yeah, we'd have to move these over. And this side really doesn't get much sun on that section. Um, we really wanted to have them at an angle. So we're thinking about building something temporary for right now, just using some logs we have and just make kind of an A-frame thing just to, to lean these on and mount them for the uh, winter. And then come spring, we can get out here and really build something proper for them. But uh, we gotta figure out something to get these things up here. Then we'll go over all the specs on these things and give you a little more information on them. All right, so we ended up putting one of our extra panels on the end here. We're gonna leave uh, three there. We're gonna put one sideways right here and then I think we're just going to build a small little thing out here on the grass on the grass at an angle so we can use two panels on it. And this will be a temporary setup for the rest of the year. Uh, I think this will work best for now because we still have time to build something else at this point. And you can see Chris is back. Say hi, Chris. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's get that on there. I stepped in dog poop. All right, so... Let me 
Let me goop these holes. He's just caulking all the uh, holes. Yeah, the extra goodies. holes just so we don't have places where water can get in. And we gotta pull brackets off of this though. So we put the brackets on this one. Two panels just really nowhere for them. Oh, so then you have to put them over here and, and we could have raised all those up more, I suppose, but we're, we're a little so? short on cable. Huh? Could have raised them all up higher and then maybe put those other two all on the bottom. Oh, there. I don't think so. The cable is way too short for that. Really don't want to put any on this wall here. No, not really. particularly. Not particularly. That's the big deal. Yeah, because they're not going to stay there, and then we'll just have holes. Here, hold this. I just want to see if it's even possible. I don't think it is. I think the wall's too small. Do what? Hold on. I'm not sure. What do you guys think? Put it on the wall or not? Yeah, we could just be done with them. We could be done with them. Wouldn't have to buy any lumber for the rest of the, for this. Yeah. Also, wouldn't have to worry about cleaning them off. Where are they going, like, permanently? Oh, well, we're going to build, what, something here? Yeah, there's going to be some kind of big giant. We've seen some guys down the road has one, and it's got footers that go into the ground, and it's made out of metal, and you can tilt it like and turn it. Industrial. Yeah, it yeah, looks really... Like a proper one there. Yeah. We have all our panels on. We could move it a bit for the sun. And, yeah. But most of the, even summer and winter... This is mostly how the sun comes yeah. comes up and goes up across here. And then during the dead of the winter, it barely tops the trees before it sets again. I mean, you remember how it is in the winter in Alaska. Yeah. But mm -hmm. this is where we get all our sun, so they have to be over here. I don't know. I just Maybe don't we know. should just toss them up there and be done with it. Yeah. Let's, it let's would, take these things here off. It would be awful nice to be finished with it. Yeah, I just don't have to. We've got so many other things to do. we got to process wood and stuff. You don't want to take those off. We have more in here. Do we? Yeah, we've got. We have enough. Two more sets. All right, maybe we just do that. Or maybe we should. Maybe we should. Yeah. We should keep our brackets yeah, because. Yeah. Uh, we're the. Mm. All over here. Mm. Yeah, we really just don't have time to build something else we got a lot of firewood to process yet and it's just really not in the budget and we want to do a proper one anyway uh our friend brad uh we went over and looked at his solar setup and we want to do something like he done it's a nice really nice setup that you can move so that's what we're going to do so we're just going to do this for this year and this will be good enough so we're just going to put the Hang on down. Hang on down. Uh, it will equal. Don't hold it up there. You keep yours floated. I'm gonna, I'm gonna steer it. You just keep yours off of the wall. Up a little bit. Up a little bit. Right about there. Hold on to it. All right, let's go down here. I pull it out a little bit. It looks like it that. is. It looks like it's okay. Yep, looks okay from there too. Mm -hmm. And over 
here. All right. Not what I thought we were going to do at the beginning of the day, but no, but it works. Yep, like I said, this will save saves us a lot of time building and Got a lot of money we can yep. use for other stuff. Yeah, we got lots of other things to do. This gets all our panels on there. These Sun Gold panels are freaking awesome. Like I said, Sharon's gonna go all the specs yeah. with you guys. But we truly appreciate Sun Gold sending us these extra four panels. It makes all the difference for us. Well that inverter's working great now. That's all all it was. We just needed more power. You just need more power. As Tim the tool man Taylor would say. Yep, thanks to Sun Gold, we got plenty of power now. And it topped those things off so stinking fast. Like I said, it takes our generator four hours. It took this thing not quite two hours to top it back off. So this is gonna make a huge, huge difference for us. All right, you can see that it's charging off of the four or six solar panels that we've got. Charging. Alright, so just a quick recap, uh, Sun Gold Power sent us these uh, 415 watt uh, solar panels. We originally had two of those, and then they sent us a 6500 watt inverter charger combo. Uh, we weren't able to get that inverter charger to work. Uh, if you look back at one of our previous videos, and I'll put the link in the description, um, we just, it, we didn't know enough about solar, this is all new to us, so um, we weren't getting enough voltage in. We were only getting about 70 volts in and we needed 120. So Sun Gold sent us four more solar panels and we've been using this for about three weeks now and it's been working great. Uh, it only takes a couple of hours to charge our battery, whereas when we used the generator, we were doing it for five or six hours. Uh, so this has been a huge blessing to us. Um, again, it's a 48 volt system runs everything in the house and I uh, can't say thanks enough to Sun Gold Power. If you guys are in the market for any kind of solar equipment, please use the link in the description. We don't make anything off of it. It's just Sun Gold's an excellent, excellent company to work with and their product is amazing. <laughs> All right. Uh, thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next week.